Good morning, cowgirl sisters. It's Fearless Friday. Yeehaw! I'm so glad you're all here. I just wanted to take this time to introduce Diamond 57, let you know how we got started and what I'm doing on Fearless Fridays. So Fearless Friday uh, has been something that I've really thought a lot about lately, about fear, actually. We live in a crazy world with a lot of fear and chaos. But I want to share with you something that I've learned about fear. Fear is not real. The only place fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future. It is a product of our imagination, causing us to fear things that do not at present exist and may never exist. Danger is real, but fear is a choice. So I challenge you sisters to choose fearless. Together we can be strong in all things and make choices that bring us love and kindness and peace. I hope to share that with you too today as we talk about all the wonderful products at Diamond 57. So to get started, Diamond 57 started in 1988. We started showing horses and this guy stole my heart and he will yours too. Look how stinking cute this guy is. I mean, my husband stole my heart, my kids, they definitely gave me an adventure, but this little guy was joy. And we showed him all over the United States. He's a three-time world champion. He's had a whole bunch of babies that I got to raise up and show, and it was such a fun adventure. I loved every minute of it, and I thank him for the joy and love. Do you guys remember your first horse? Do you remember ever just loving a horse so much you just didn't know what you would do without him? This guy lived to be 28 years old, and he actually died on the same day as the mare that he lived with his whole life. She was a baby when he was a baby. And uh, under unusual circumstances, they both went to horsey heaven together. And that will be a tender reunion moment for me. So um, for all the horse mamas out there, give it some love. Um, Diamond 57 started with my husband. He hauled me everywhere. He didn't have anything to do with horses. He didn't know anything about horses or animals. We lived on a farm and he was a quick learner. But he would drive me and all my horses and my friends everywhere to all these shows. And we had some really great adventures. I loved every minute of it. And then one day he was building a house. They were lifting a wall up and uh, that wall accidentally fell down and fell on his body and crushed the left side of his body. Um, needless, he's okay now. But needless to say, he couldn't wear his boots anymore. So I took those boots, I cut them up, and I made a purse into them. And I made a few, and I, I just loved them so much because they represented all the fun times we'd had together, the places we'd been, the things we'd done in those boots. And then I had them in a store at downtown Portland, Oregon. And guess who came in? The owner calls and says, hey, Sue, Taylor's here, as in Taylor Swift. She wants to meet you. You want to come down? I'm like, be right there. Drove downtown Portland, met Taylor and her mom. And every time she'd come into town, she would give me a call and I'd meet her at the store or the mall or whatever. And it was just, it was a lot of fun. She mentored my friend's daughter and she was just really sweet. Uh, from there, I was in Cowboys and Indians magazine and uh, on TV and had some different wonderful opportunities occur because of that. So I really appreciated it. Today, we live here in Arizona because number one, this weather is so good for my husband's leg and he feels better with this heat, but it's also an excellent place for me to go. There's a lot of shows. There's a lot of art festivals and shows. That was until coronavirus. But even then, because of that, I have the opportunity to share with you through Facebook and other mediums how to, uh, how to share how, what I do and how I do it. And I love that. And I appreciate each of you for stopping by and, and giving me a quick lesson. I want to show you, first of all, the cowboy boot purses. So this one right here is made out of a Corral cowboy boots, a set of Corral. I call it the Peace Heart Wings. The handles are made out of horse throat latch. Um, which is adjustable and leather will last you forever. And the pendant on this is sterling silver with real turquoise. And the back has a heart to match it. Each of my bags come with a little vintage cowgirl tag that I make with a spur. And on the back side, it says all the things that went into making this bag. It's got a pair of boots, a set of throat latches, eight conchos, uh, 219 stitches. It takes me about 10 hours to make each purse. So really fun, cute. If you have the boots, 
this bag is for you because it's going to make a super cute set. Um, the bottom is hand stitched, so it will set on the countertop, on, on a chair, whatever, without tipping over. If you're concerned about the inside, you can see it's lined with leather and has pockets. If you're concerned about it not having a zipper, I fixed that. Let me show you what I did. Right here, the leather zippered bag. This has five zipper pouches, one in the back. This works great because it's got snaps on it. These are bit snaps. They're actually made out of metal and they use them to attach a horse bridle to the bit on the horse. It fits right inside the bag. And those snaps, let me hold it up so you can see. These snaps will snap right straight to the D-ring so it becomes part of the purse so that you can keep everything zippered up in there. I keep my keys in one so that's not clinking against my phone my money's in another one and if you want to pull it out of your bag you can take these snaps put them right onto your belt loops if you're wearing jeans with belt loops snap it right there and your hands free if you're wearing a dress like i'm doing today or you don't have belt loops there is a leather strap inside that's adjustable so you can wrap it around your waist so it can still just hang close to your body or you can wear it cross body um, this is also great if you happen to want to carry a concealed weapon. I usually carry mine in the back. I carry a 380, so it's fairly small and compact, but it will fit up to a 9mm if you put it in the middle part here. But it keeps it inconspicuous, nice and easy, but mostly secure, which is really important. So if you purchase a cowboy boot purse today, I'll send you a free leather pouch to go with it so it'll snap right inside there. This is a $65 value and I'll include it with the price of the cowboy boot purse. You can order the purses right here by sending me a message or you can go to my website diamond57.com. You can order there. Some things are not on my website yet. I wanted to give you a sneak peek. So just send me a message if you would like to order something here and I'll be sure to contact you when we can take care of that. Okay. I wanted to share just a couple other things with you. Um, this bag right here, when they were boots, I love to recycle everything. So this pair of boots was worn by Miley Cyrus on the set of Hannah Montana. So these were her boots, size eight and a half, which happens to be whose size? Oh, mine. Let me show you what I did with the bottoms. These were the bottoms to this boot. You see, is it coming together now? So I hand lace them into these booties and I can wear them as booties. And then I have a matching set. I've got my bag in the, and my purse. So what you can do, and oh, I wanted to tell you about the handle. It's made out of horse hobbles. So horse would put his, hand, his hands, put his front feet right here and hold that horse still, but it makes a great handle. I just love how this bag feels, how it hangs on my arm, but I can still put it up on my shoulder too. So this is the fun part. If you have a pair of boots of yours that you don't wear anymore or they don't fit right, or maybe um, a loved one has passed away and you want to preserve those memories, that every time you touch that bag, you touch a part of that loved one, or the adventures you'd had in the, in the show ring or out mucking stalls. If you've had horses, you know the smell of mucking stalls. It's near and dear to my heart. But... Anyways, you get to live on. Those memories will live on. If I design a custom purse for you, you get to be a part of that whole process. You can tell me what kind of concho. These are conchos. What kind of concho do you want? I put them on the sides too. Do you want it this bucket shape? Or do you want it more the shape of the corral purse that's going to have two handles, which makes it kind of longer? This makes it more like a bucket. They're all hand laced on the bottom, so they'll sit on the counter for you. You can choose crystals or you can choose uh, spots, silver spots, or none at all. And we decide what kind of handle you want. It's completely up to you. And I'll work together with you on that design process. They are all lined with leather and have pockets on the inside. So um, I'd love to do some personal and custom orders for you. I get quite a few of those. It takes me about four weeks to get those done, uh, depending on what we need to do. But just send me a message, or you can call me or text me. And uh, I'd be happy to, to make something really custom for you. I'd be honored to do that for you. So I wanted to show you what the crystals look like too. These are Savorsky crystals. And I have what's called a kick press. And the kick press is a machine that I put the crystals in. It clamps it down into the leather. So this is something that's going to last. 
It's not something that's just going to wear out and be done with or get scratched or fall out. I want it to be a bag that lasts you a lifetime. Here's my custom charm. This one has squash blossom uh, conchas on it. And this handle, look how pretty that is. This, uh, I put the Swarovski crystals on there and there's silver spots. But see how it's just the perfect size? This handle is a brow band off of a draft horse bridle. So super fun that it really had another use before it came together um, to be the handle on this pretty purse. I lined this one with red leather and you can see it's got the, the black leather pouch in there that actually will snap to it also. So it keeps everything zippered up in there so things can't fall out or um, lose them. People can't reach in there and take it. So there's the cowboy boot purses. Um, I wanted to show you mine. This is my personal purse, so this one's not for sale. But these are made out of a pair of boule boots. Boule boots are made in Canada. And I just kind of have that sassy cowgirl attitude. So I put fringe on mine, and I used horse bridle handles. You can see it's got silver ferrules and rawhide braiding on that. But I just love how this bag feels. So this one's made out of a pair of boots, and I just added the fringe to it, and we put the horse rein handles on it. So uh, you have lots of choices. If we're going to do a custom bag for you, you have lots of choices. If you don't see what you want on my website, just give me a call or send me a message and I'll be happy to create something for you. I have a lot of stock that I could go through and I'll send you pictures and you can pick what you would like. Okay, I just wanted to show you a few of the saddle blanket bags. Now these saddle blanket bags, I order a saddle blanket bag, but I add the concho, I'll add fringe, I put a leather handle on it or a, a leather clutch strap. So really durable, strong, fun, sassy with the fringe on there, and I'm happy to custom order these. So if you want crystals or spots, I'll put them across here. You can choose what kind of concho. This one here has the arrows on it, and, but you can choose what kind you would like, and I'd be happy to, to customize a bag for you. I'll show you my um, saddle blanket bag that I made for myself because I also can do custom orders for these. If you have something special you'd like to have on a bag, this here is my bag. So I love this. This has been back and forth from Arizona to Oregon more times than I can count. Of course, I've got fringe on it, but that can be your choice. The handle on this is a horse bridle head stall. So it's adjustable, but it fits nicely. I can wear it cross body. I can make it longer if I want because it's adjustable. I can wear it over one shoulder. But this is the really fun part. See all these fun trinkets on here? These are all the things I love. And I can either, if I do a custom, sorry, my head's cut off. It's like hard to try to get in the middle here. Um, if I custom make a bag for you, I can give you a choice of the trinkets that I have, or you can send me something that's special to you. A keychain, an earring, a pendant, something off your bridle, or if you only have like one rain left and you want a certain concho that brings back special memories for you, or a key. Maybe there's some special key that has the key to your heart or whatever. I can put that on there too. If people ask me, you can see this here's like a little holster. They ask me if do you pack, I go, well, yes I do, pow, pow. You see that, it's the tiniest little gun, a little charm. I had to put it on a chain so I don't lose it. This is real horse hair, whoops, over here. But anyways, let me know if you would like something custom because I can do these for you also. And, uh, Let's see, what else should I show you today? Hmm. How about this? I just created these this week. They're made out of cowhide. I haven't really named them yet. I just call them a cowhide clutch. So they're a little bigger than a clutch. They are eight inches by 11 inches. I have some little um, uh, embossed leather here with the concho on it. I put fringe on it and I made the leather strap for it. Everything is all leather. On the back, it has a pocket, because I love to have a pocket right close to me that I can just stick my cell phone in there, and I can get to it quick if I need to. It has a zipper closure, and on the inside, it has a little place where I can put my ID, my credit card, whatever I need right there, so the rest of the space I can have for like a wallet or whatever else I might want to carry with that. But it fits really nicely as a crossbody, but I can make this handle any length you'd like, too. So just let me know what you think. I'm going to sell these for $75. I think that's a bargain. Uh, cowhide on the front, leather on the back, pocket in the inside, pocket in the back. So um, let me know what you think. I'd love your feedback. And if you have an idea for a name for this bag, share that with me. I think that would be really neat. Okay.
Let's see what else. Well, I have um, bigger cowhide bags. I call these the rebel bag. So they've got horse reins for the handles. I put conchos on them. Cowhide on the front, leather on the back, and most of them have a cowboy boot um, pocket in the back. So I'll take either a, a, sometimes I'll get sample cowboy boots or cowboy boots before they're made into cowboy boots or just all kinds of things. I try to recycle and reuse everything I can. So um, I can get all kinds of things and make them into something else. So this one here has a cowboy boot that I sewed into a pocket for the back. And they're all, they have a zipper on them. So you can see they're gusseted. They have a three, um, three inch gusset on there. And this one, I put a lighter color fabric, or it's not fabric, it's leather. I put lighter color leather with the pockets so you can see that in there. And, uh, and then they just zipper close, keep everything safe. They're a really nice size. It's more like a handbag, but I can make some of them have longer straps too, depending on what horse reins and bridle pieces I have. But these are 125. You can find them on my website, diamond57.com. But I think you'll love them. Let me know what you think. All right. Let's see here what else. Oh, I forgot to show you this other cowboy boot purse. These are also corral boots. So I met this gal and she had a pair of boots that did not fit her. And anyways, I was able to purchase them from her. And this is what they look like. I used a, a real turquoise pendant. This was actually a pendant. I made it into a concho and it's sterling silver with the turquoise on there. But look at all these copper spots. I think I counted every single one of them. And there are 120 on each side because <laughs> they're on the front and back. And then the handle is a head stall. This is off of a horse bridle. The head stall is the part that goes from the bit over the horse's head, around, you know, behind the ears and down to the other side. So this has a lot of adjustability in it. This is how long it is right now, but I can make it long enough to wear it cross body too. So don't forget with the purchase of every cowboy boot purse today, you'll get the free leather insert that is gonna snap inside and keep everything safe with all the zippers so that nothing will fall out. People can't reach in and steal anything out of there. So just as a reminder, the leather zippered pouch with the snaps on it that fits right inside comes with the cowboy boot purses today. Okay, I'm gonna show you just one more thing. Once in a while, I'll get in a purse that's made by a third party. And I love this one. Look at all the details on that. It's got all kinds of colors and the embroidery. It has crystals. This is, it's all leather. It's got embossed leather on the sides, lots of detail. The back has a zipper. So for a concealed weapon or again, your phone, you know, whatever is your secret weapon. One lady, I was at a show and she says, uh, she goes, oh, in Canada, we can't carry a gun. She goes, but I do have a secret weapon. And she got her purse out. She pulled out her credit card. She goes, this is my secret weapon. <laughs> I thought she was pretty darn cute. Anyway, this here, the handle is uh, embroidered and has crystals on it too. This retails for $140, but I'm going to do $100. I only have one. This is the only one. So um, if you want it, just send me a message, and, um, and it's all yours. $100. Okay, well, I only have one thing left. This cute little wallet, because we live in the most wonderful country in the world, even with all the adversity that's happening, our country was founded by founding fathers who were inspired by God. And I truly believe that, that we have our freedoms like no place else in the entire world. I love America, even in all the turmoil and the trials that we're having. I still, I love America, and I know the Lord's watching over us, and he's going to guide, he's going to make something pretty great out of something that seems so tragic. Just like my situation with my husband when he had his leg injured, he couldn't work for three years. We had, <laughs> it was some rough times, but with, we never gave up hope, and his attitude has always been to just keep going, just keep going, I got this. Even when he couldn't walk and he's, he's scooting on the floor trying to put in new flooring in my kitchen. He just kept going. He's always been an inspiration to me. And that's what America's about. We just keep going. Choose to be fearless. Choose to love America. Choose to love each other and show that kindness. Because I know we got it in us. It's just a choice. Make your choice to live fearlessly. And thank you so much for joining me today. But I wanted to tell you that the, the first order I get today, I'll check my private messages um, as soon as we're done here, well, you'll get this free wallet. 
to go with your order. It has some crystals on it, some bling. Um, it's it's a cute it's a cute little clutch bag. Um, but I want to give this to you as my gift. I wish I had one for every single person. I just love to give these away because they're so darn cute. But this is the last one that I have left. So um, I just want you to know that to be grateful, be kind, be fearless, show your love. Don't be afraid to show your love. And uh, we're going to do this every Friday. See you every Friday, fearless, at 10 a.m. right here on Facebook, unless, you know, I figure out something better to do. But um, as far as my monitor system here. Anyways, I hope you have happy trails. I love you all. Keep that cowgirl spirit going. And uh, I hope you just have a beautiful, fearless Friday. Love y'all. Yeehaw!